each of us is born with half a magnet inside of us. I believe there is something in each of us that is pulling us onward. Now, you can't work with half a magnet. So there's something in here trying to get out, trying to get out under all circumstances, and then suddenly one day, slam. You meet the other half of the magnet and you're home. Why is that a problem then? Why would I start out with the notion that it's a problem? Because this culture teaches you to ignore the internal magnet at every level. This, this culture teaches our kids, uh, I, how, many, how many times have I had a young person say, I say, what, do you, what in God's name are you doing in math? You, here's, your, here's your report card. You were at best a C-plus student. You never mentioned that you wanted to be in math. You always told me you were going to be a history teacher. You, you, were, you wanted to go around the world. Yes, sister, but my dad said, you can't make any money being a third grade teacher. If you think I put all this money in your education and you're going to come out in elementary ed, then son, you pay for the rest of it yourself. What, do, what, are we, what did we just educate? An unhappy kid is what we're unleashing onto the world, a half-finished mind, a half-developed soul, a, a, a half-known personality, unknown even to this person themselves. This little magnet in me I started uh, at the age of uh, eight uh, in, uh, in the alley behind the house giving every kid on the block their own role in the movie I had just written. I told stories and had all these kids. Uh, nobody noticed it. I didn't notice it. Was the way to, it was the way I had fun and everybody liked the role and everybody went. That's one dimension. That's the magnet that meets the magnet. Now. How did I get to be a writer? The little eight-year-old loved to tell stories. I grew to the point where uh, I, 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 be, I became aware, I was made aware, I suddenly figured out that if that nun who was questioning me on who wrote my essay thought it was that good that an adult could have written it, maybe I ought to meet her that night and see what else I might do. So here's, here is the stuff out of which our own clay is now being molded. We don't mold it ourselves. We only have half of that magnet. But that magnet, it's due north. It's, it's the rest of its compass is it's absolutely essential to the spiritual and psychological well-being of a person that we listen to the magnet that we search for the other half of it, and that we not permit anything out here to give us a lesser value in life by which to direct our spiritual selves. There is an <laughs> internal path necessary to follow. Now, I'm not saying that everybody ought to be working in, in the path that is the fullness of themselves. Sometimes you work in order to follow the path in a different way. There are a lot of writers who work in banks adding numbers so that four o'clock in the morning they can get up and write for three hours before they go to the bank. The point is you must understand who you are and you must lead yourself to the fullness of that or I don't see how you can be fully happy and even fully holy. If I myself am ever to be whole, wholeness is a huge thing for me, huge. Do, do all your parts go together? That's the question. Is your mind and your soul and your work and your social life, are they all of a piece? Or are you playing cards with the mafia at, uh, over here and delivering soup uh, to, to the elderly over here? It doesn't go together. It doesn't fit. There's something unwhole about the way you're trying to move through life. I also grew up in, in another culture. Uh, I'm, I'm Roman Catholic, 
And if there is one thing that is not well enough understood about Catholicism, I think, is that it is based on, on what the Catholic calls sacramentality, that every single thing in your life is part of the other magnet, the other side of the magnet. So all of our sacraments use very, very natural elements to express them, water and candles and incense and oil. What do those things speak of? Nature, what it is to be human, where God is. So now you have the magnet and a, a consciousness, a taught an educated consciousness that all of this is, is of the great creation. And then finally you have religion. The function of religion is to lead us beyond itself. In too many instances, religion stops with itself. It becomes our answer to our own development, let alone our, our, our moral uh, role in the world, our consciousness of our, our responsibility.